Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Puma Showdown. Um, it is shocking to me that after seven episodes, we are still on the air. I, our ratings are terrible. No one's watching. And yet here we are, still talking to empty TV screens. I'm your host, Logan James. And for those of you who have never watched an episode of Puma Showdown, uh, basically what is going to happen is we have two amazing teams here uh, who are going to play three simple improv games. And I'm going to award points back and forth on who I think uh, did the best job for that game. And then at the end of three games, whoever has the most amount of points will walk away as champion. And you'll see them back here next week defending their title. So one of these teams uh, might look a little familiar to you guys. Um, welcome back. Uh, Luke and Justin from last week. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, come hang out with us again. I know it's been a while since you guys had to come back down here, but uh, we appreciate the effort and the uh, dedication you have no to entertaining the masses. So um, if you job. guys could go ahead and introduce yourselves to the viewing public. <laughs> Was it that one? Yeah, that, that one. one. There you okay. go. Hi, guys. It's still on that one. No, uh, uh, Hi, guys. I'm Luke. I am Justin. <laughs> All right, so our camera was supposed to change, but it did not. So we're just going to roll it. <coughs> and uh, so welcome back. You guys are going for your second win. You guys yes. defeated. Yeah. And Connor last week. Cool stuff. Um, and you guys uh, did, did destroyed their uh, winning streak, and so you guys should feel really uh, proud of yourselves for that. Well, we want to um, write a letter and apologize to their families. Oh, you want to apologize oh, to their families? Oh, I haven't yeah. seen Connor since. You haven't seen Connor since? No. That's unfortunate. He's probably too devastated to come out of hiding. I would understand. You know, it's devastating to lose a game like this. There's so much on the line. So much. So much pride. All right, so uh, what is your guys' – we always do team names, so uh, you guys get to pick the team name this time. So what is your guys' team name this week? We are the saboteurs of Jose and Connor. So okay. Team saboteurs of Jose and Connor okay. are right here. So welcome back, guys. And then, uh, whoa, it's like I looked in a mirror. I'm sure you've never heard that joke before. Uh, welcome, twins. Hi. Good to have you guys on the show. Yeah. Um, so if you guys could go ahead and please introduce yourselves to the viewing public. <laughs> I'm Katie. I'm Christine. And what is your guys' uh, team name going to be this week? Outside! Outside! Outside. <laughs> Outside. Outside. <laughs> All right, so we have Team Saboteurs of Jose and Connor and Team Southside right here, representing right here on Puma Showdown. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go on to our first game, which is Sinking Out Loud. All right, so how this game is going to work is you guys are going to go back and forth uh, giving an answer to a prompt one word at a time. Now, the trick to this game is I do this every time. The trick to this game is that I'm going to have a bell here on my phone, and every time that you hear the bell, the other team will have a chance to interject one word um, into your answer to try to throw you off. So here's what the bell sounds like. Oh, oh that's, that's an ad popped up. There it is. <laughs> so that's what the bell sounds like. And every time you hear that, you'll have a chance to interject a word into their sentence. Um, so we are going to start off with our reigning champs, Team Saboteurs of Jose and Connor. Uh, can we see what their prompt is? Um, how to avoid finals. How to avoid finals. 60 seconds on the clock, one word at a time. We're going to start with Justin on this one. 60 seconds and your time starts now. First, one must take their... Close off. Plunger. Themselves. <laughs> into. Euphoria. <laughs> if. They. Do. Not. Do that. Wait, do. That. <laughs> then. They. Will. Unicorn. Their. Buttocks. <laughs> and. If. That. Baby. Is. And. Orangutan, <laughs> then you will become macaroni and cheese. It's three words. And it's hyphenated. <laughs> you will be avoiding dairy because you are lactose intolerant. <laughs> so you avoid finals. <laughs> there you go. All right. 
That was a well-rounded story if I have ever seen one. I think uh, everyone take notes. I hope you guys all wrote that down because if you've got a final you don't want to take, that is a surefire way. If you're lactating because you are lactose intolerant, I am sure that is a surefire way that you can tell your professor, listen, I can't make it in today. Trust me, you don't want me to. So good job, guys. That was really good. Uh, so we're gonna go on to Team Salsa. I'm s oh god, that's so. I'm so sorry. It tastes bad in your mouth. I'm so sorry. It tastes bad in your mouth when you say. That was probably the whitest oh, thing. Chicago, that was the whitest thing I think I've ever done. <laughs> South Side. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> so oh, my phone fell. Oh, no. all right. I don't need it. We don't need it. All right. So oh, I do need it. Shit. Yeah, you need okay. It. Can we see what their prompt is, please? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, you want to break up with your ex. Oh my god. All right. Please tell us. Let oh me god. fix my, my bell here. Uh, <laughs> find a nickel for every time that's, I've had to do that. All right. There it is. There okay, is. so uh, 60 seconds on the clock. How to, uh, what was it? I didn't even remember break what it was. Right. How to break up with your ex. How to break up with your ex. 60 seconds on the clock. We're going to start off with Katie on this one. And your time starts now. First, you bring your tissues. And cry over train wreck <laughs> boyfriend. Oh, so oh. you text other guy. No, <laughs> Gee, <wait. laughs> other guy. Um, then you walk terrorist away before they kill your. Parents, and <laughs> then you sleep aside. <laughs> Semen <laughs> from <laughs> pants. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> that is how you win. <laughs> that is how you win. <laughs> That's, oh, it no. was not on the list of words I can't loop. say. Uh, <laughs> I meant a seaman as in like on a crew, on a ship. Yeah. yeah. Like on the old Civil War. That's ship. what he meant. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to go to a commercial break <laughs> so I can uh, process. process what just happened. <laughs> uh, you're watching Puma Showdown on <coughs> TV6. <laughs> I'm proud of you, buddy. That was a word I couldn't say. Yeah, we already went over Literally, I was hoping. Goodness, the award letter? That's like winning the lottery. <laughs> Kitty. No words can explain the happy that I have in my heart. It helped cover my son's whole tuition for his school. Step Up has given my daughter an opportunity that she otherwise would not have had. Kids with special needs really need um, special care. Just keep going. Just because you're struggling in something doesn't mean you have to stop. I am so happy that my child is passing. Why are you guys taping this? To learn more, visit stepupforstudents.org. We go and clear the roads, looking for... Uh, I was out there talking to the control people and I just saw the... the okay, well welcome back to uh, Puma Showdown right here on TV6. I'm your host, Logan James. Awful host. And um, um, I don't know if uh, the points are ready to go. Um, are points ready to go in the back? Uh, I'm, I'm pressing yep. wrong here. Yes. Okay. Yep. So, uh, well, I'm going to give points out, but I'm going to give bonus points. I, I'll actually just show the points. I'll explain myself later. Okay. <laughs> uh, congr you guys won that round. I didn't even use the last 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm giving you guys bonus points just because you, the, you, you probably assume why. It was, it was good, made for good TV. Yes. It made for good TV. <laughs> so 25 bonus them. points to you guys. And you did stump them. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> That's a tie yeah. ball game. What? You guys, do you want me to give them more? No, I was expecting like You guys are winning right now. No, now we're tied. Don't. 25 points for Griffin. They have 25. Oh, okay. You have 15. I thought you said 
25 Oh my god. <laughs> this show is going downhill <laughs> real fast. Atrocity. All right. Okay. So, we're going to go on. <laughs> okay. Since you know, I have absolutely no control over this show anymore. We're going to go on to our second game, which is Movie Pitch. Oh boy. All right. So, for this game what's going to happen is uh, I am the big LA uh, movie executive and you guys are pitching me your brand new brand new movie idea Last time was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are going to go back and forth about roughly five to ten seconds a piece uh, delivering your uh, synopsis of your brand new movie word. Uh, you're going to get a person a place and a genre and you have to work that in to your film so we're going to start off with team south side like okay we're gonna we're gonna start off with team south side uh, can we see their prompts please buzz light in a dungeon, what? and it's a gangster film. I got this. In a dungeon, and it's a gangster film. Is everybody ready to go? I got this. All right, we're going to start off with Christine. Then 60 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. All right, you know Buzz Lightyear, who's usually in space, gets what? Moving him to a dungeon, and gets right. I <laughs> wish you had to guess what it's. A, he's a gangster Switch. now. Switch. <laughs> He's with the mafia of that consists of uh, Smelly Pete, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woody. Switch. Uh, he's also with his father that he found out in the first movie. I forget his name, but uh, they're they're gonna shoot up the dungeon with all those dead people, the the killers. Switch. <laughs> Al Capone shows up randomly <laughs> to, have ma to have a master class on how to be a gangster. Switch. Uh, the master class takes place in a dungeon full of murderers, and Buzz Lightyear comes out swinging. <laughs> Eventually, El Capone gets tired of their nonsense and decides to shoot off one of Bo Peep's sheep to teach him a lesson. Lesson. <laughs> and time's up. Oh. In all my, <laughs> in all of my years of being a host of Puma Showdown. Both of you, that entire game, looked like you were so lost. You were, you were reaching out for every individual word. And then Al Capone showed up. And then you're, the, the glossy look over your face. You guys had no idea where you were at. You guys are from Southside. You can do a movie about gangsters. <laughs> Sorry. Our family is part of the Italian Mafia, too. And you, good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. Don't so say I'm going to let you guys sit here and think about what oh you just God. did. Um, we're going to go on to uh, Team Saboteurs of Jose and Connor. Can we see their first their prompt, please? Uh, Shia LaBeouf, oh, Shia LaBeouf in oh. Australia. And it's a horror film. So good old Shia LaBeouf. Good old Shia LaBeouf. So we are here first. It is a horror oh, so film good. in Australia. I think that was right, all right? Did Shia LaBeouf, Australia yeah. Horror. Yeah, okay. Yes, there it is again. Thank you so much, people in the back. You guys are beautiful people. All right, so 60 seconds on the clock. We're going to start with Luke on oh. this one. 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Good day, governors. <laughs> this movie's about Shia LaBeouf. Switch. Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> he's in Australia with his family, and they're down under with the dangos. Switch. The dangos come to his house, and uh, Shia... Eats the dangos. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the dangos master is a dead dango zombie that comes back and eats Shia LaBeouf's baby. And Shia LaBeouf has to get him as a shrimp on the bobby and roast him. Switch. And when he, he has to find two more people. <laughs> I, can't, I just lost my accent. Uh, he has to find two more people. And then him and the robots. Switch. <laughs> you see the robots here? They aren't really from Australia, they're actually terrorists that are there shooting up the place with werewolves and Shia LaBeouf must fight them all. Switch! And the werewolf is Taylor Lautner. <laughs> Taylor Lautner and Shia LaBeouf destroy the dingoes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's how that is. Yeah. That was... Crikey. Crikey. That was crikey. That was, that was, that was bloody incredible, Thank guys. You. That Thank was you. awesome. Um, I'm going to have to give points. <laughs> Um, after this commercial break, but I think we all know who's getting the points. Uh, but we'll see you right back here. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Puma Showdown on TV6. You probably know someone with autism. 
But you might not know that half of children with autism wander away from safe places, including homes or schools in your neighborhood. Many head straight to water or into traffic with fatal consequences. If this were your child, would you want someone to get involved and help? Parents of children with autism do. If you ever see a child walking alone, remember the three S's. Stop to help, seek assistance from police, stay until they arrive. Get involved and help bring a child with autism home safely. To learn more, visit missingkids.com slash aware. They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won. Pretty lopsided matchup, Jim. Ron, this newcomer has no idea what he's getting himself into. Let's go to the action. Jim, the size difference alone is staggering. Unbelievable, Ron. And this guy acts like he doesn't have a care in the world. What is he thinking? Every day, people tempt fate and die trespassing on railroad tracks. See tracks, think train. And we're back to do the showdown. <laughs> Our host, Logan Jates, can no longer be with us. So therefore, me, Lucas St. Paul, because Justin Meredith is going to go to jail for murder, is our new host. And the next round is... Who knows? Quick <laughs> thinking. <laughs> so I kind of forget how this game works. All right, I'll take it. Okay, that was a good bit, guys. Solid. He's All not right. dead. <laughs> Plot twist, I'm not dead. All right, so we're going to go on to our next game, which is quick thinking. I lost my earpiece, so I can't hear what's going on in the back. Okay, um, so basically how this game is going to work is... Oh, I need my letters. Excuse me. Um, so what's going to happen is you guys are going to see a prompt on the screen, and you guys are going to have to give a one, two, three word answer, um, starting with the letter that I show you guys. And we're going to go back and forth between teams. So we'll start off with Luke, and then we'll go uh, Katie, and then we'll go Justin, and then we'll go Christine. And we'll do that order back and forth. So can we see what our first prompt is, please? Oh, wait. Did I give points? No. I need to give points. Bad cereal mascot ideas. Okay, do we have the points ready from last game? Because I'm giving them points, so everyone knows that. Yeah. Um, are points ready? I forgot to show points. Yes? There we yeah. go. Yeah. 75 to 50. Yeah. All right, all right. So what was the uh, first prompt, please? Again, sorry. Okay, okay. bad cereal mascot ideas. Right. Starting with the letter G, bad cereal yes. mascot ideas. Make sure to watch because the letter could change. We're going to start off with Luke here. 60 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. Gilbert Godfrey. Yes. Godfrey Granola. No. George Bush for Fruit Loops. Yes. <laughs> Golden Grams Gangster. Yes. <laughs> Giggly Clown. No. <laughs> Gurgles. No. <laughs> George Carlton for Rice Krispies. Yes. Google Google Grams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Joffrey from the Game of Thrones? Sure, yeah. Uh, G. Willikers. You're terrible. <laughs> yeah, you're no. terrible with this. Gandalf for pancake flavored cereal. No. Wow. Gandalf. <laughs> Gandhi Grams. Yes. <laughs> e. Um, electricians. <laughs> yes. Elephant ears. No. You're horrible. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Pass. No. Uh, ego testicle knights. Grams. No. What? <laughs> uh. Enlightened ones. Yes, that's the last one. Time's up. Oh god. Oh, you saved this loop. You're Thank horrible. You. At this. I feel. You're horrible. Are you too okay? No, she's horrible. Are you guys like drunk at nine o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Not, oh, it's this not, is uh, it's it, it is currently somewhere. eight thirty p.m. We are definitely not filming this in the morning. This is totally live. 
right now. <laughs> Don't ruin the magic of television, Luke. <laughs> It's totally, it's five so, o'clock somewhere, right? So we can be drunk. <laughs> ten, ten points. <laughs> All right, so we are going to go on Still to lived. the next prompt. What's can we see the next prompt, next please? Uh, dumb ways to die. Dumb ways this is to die. die. All right, starting with the letter C. Starting with the letter C, dumb ways to die. We're going to start off with Katie. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I, I wish I wasn't. I wish I wasn't. I got it. You got to be better so, at this. Come on. We're going to oh start off with C. 60 seconds on, on the me, clock. Dumb ways to die. Your time starts now. Cat trills. What? <laughs> Just pass. Pass. <laughs> Cougar attacks. Yes. Uh, 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 crabs. <laughs> what kind of crabs? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Cannibalism. Yes. No. Cantaloupe avalanche. Yes. Uh, cotton balls. No. Cougar attack except an older woman. <laughs> yes. Concrete stumble. Yes. Crocodile done the attack by the crocodiles. Yes. Uh, uh, cardiac arrest. No, that's not such. <laughs> hey, my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, cocoa puffs. Yes. Chilling with... Kardashians. Yes. A. <laughs> Can we say? <laughs> no. Pass. Avalanche. No. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Next. No. <laughs> <laughs> what if you get stuck? Points for that. I don't, I Someone's don't laughing back there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good television. Points. I think they were laughing in my face. Um, and like. <laughs> all right. So that happened. That happened. We gotta, we gotta live with it. That was a thing. You get stuck sometimes. And you know, this saying. is live TV. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to deal with the consequences. You that can say that, that on TV. Um, if you guys get a, if you guys uh, look on your student account and you see a fine. <laughs> Um, don't be surprised. I'll get uh, a lawyer. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go on to our... If that's what it takes to win. Our third and final prompt, oh, so can we please guys. see what the prompt is? I was talking to F. Uh, yes! Broadway show titles. <laughs> yes! Starting with the letter M. Uh, fake Broadway show titles. We're gonna start one. off with Justin don't on this oh, one. Gosh. I got it. 60 I seconds on the clock, starting with the letter M. Bad Broadway show titles. Your Got time it. starts now. Montage of cats. Yes. Minnie's Mouseketeers. No. Mandingo party. Yes. <laughs> Me oh my, I'm so high. Yes. <laughs> my fair lady is dead. Yes. <laughs> my mama. No. <laughs> Mother lost her friends. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Mama Mia, the reverse. Uh, yes, why? <laughs> You're still a loser. Yes. YOLO. Yes. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, mother. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Yankee Doodle Dandy, or really? Yes. Oh. You sure can't die on live television. Yes. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Young Money. Yes. Young. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> you sure aren't good at this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you. <laughs> Yes. Oh, awful awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's done. Time's I'm up. Done. All right. Uh, I believe we have one more round to do, uh, one more round to go, so let's go on and see our last prompt. Uh, <laughs> Kanye, Kanye West's yes. next album name. <laughs> Kanye West's next album. Yeah. We are going to uh, start with the letter J. Yes. Starting with the letter J. Kanye West's new it. album. We are going to start off with Christine on this. So Christine, Luke, uh, Katie, and Justin. Here we go. Final round. This is where you guys make up your points oh to gosh. see who will reign supreme. 60 seconds on the clock. Kanye West's new album name. Go. Jesus, I'm so much better than you. Yes. <laughs> Jose is better than Pablo. Yes. Jeez, why? Yes. <laughs> Jeez, why did you give him points? Jesus <laughs> is my actual name. Yes. Just chilling with my Kardashians. Yes. <laughs> Journey of God. Yes. <laughs> jumping, jumping, got me singing. No. Yes. <laughs> Who, Jews. 
need to be <laughs> used. <laughs> yes! Can I watch this? Uh, loser, loser, you loser. No! <laughs> life of Logan. Yes! <laughs> the life of... No. Life. Live with the Kardashians. Yes! Uh, Wayne Street. No. <laughs> I don't know. Lactation attack. <laughs> yes. Laxative. Yes. Look at me, I'm Kanye. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, Time's up. <laughs> bonus points for that last one, because I think that's the one of the best ones I heard. So five bonus points Live for Justin. Live from New York. It's <laughs> <so> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to go on to our uh, commercial break. Year. And Each time a oh, recycled paper comes Okay, to the commercial. Bathroom, it's plain, it looks like. Lana Zimmer and her sustainability class are trying to change St. Joe's campus. They have been working on a project to recycle more by adding new bins and composing food. Each student hopes to make SJC a cleaner campus. All they need is your help. Paper, plastic, aluminum, reduce, reuse, recycle, and clean up the streets of St. Joseph's College. It's time to get off your phones and pick up a new form of entertainment. The Robinson Memorial Library offers a wide variety of books from textbooks to magazines, leisure reading, and much more. Located in the Arts and Science Building. Lady, do you have any chews? Nope. Tired? Bored? Come to Cup of Joe. We drink lots of coffee, hot chocolate, and tea to stay up late. And we always have fun. Hey, Sam, you got a four? Nope. We're open Sunday through Thursday, 8 p.m. to midnight. Come to Cup of Joe. Make memories. Have fun. Our friendships last a lifetime. There's just so much I have to get done. It just keeps piling and piling up. I just don't understand the material. Mm. Uh, yeah. I need some help. The Student Success Center is just the place to go. Here to meet all students on campus and offering peer tutoring for a variety of courses. Open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, and Friday, 8 to 4. See how we can help you. And welcome back to Puma Showdown right here on TV6. Um, thank you guys so much for giving me uh, one of the most interesting episodes of Puma Showdown That's that we've had so far. Welcome. Um, I Really, I have no words. You guys I have I made, you you guys have made <laughs> for amazing Stop. television Stop. for sure. So... I don't know if our ratings are going to go up after this. They're going to go up. Or or if, we <laughs> if we get taken off the air after this. If your ratings go up and you get taken off the air. This might okay. be the final episode of Puma Showdown <laughs> that we have. Because we're going to have to just wait and see what happens after this. I'm sorry if I got I'm fired. so excited. <laughs> All right. So I think that uh, points are ready to go. I believe so. So best of luck to you guys. Will team... Uh, Bill, or the saboteurs of Jose and Connor come in for their second win in a row, or will Team Southside take the reign and be back next week, if we are even back next week, I don't know. So let's see what the final points are. Congratulations, your second win. Um, nobody has ever won three games in a row, we're going for so, it. We have another time. so if you guys are invited back, I don't know. You guys, we'll I see. I promise I won't. I'm not gonna say it this time. <laughs> Just won't say words. So, uh, thank words. you guys so much for watching Puma Showdown. It has been an honor being your host. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for letting me have this opportunity to be your host. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm praying. I see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much.